Hey there guys, this is Tucson Hubachi. Um Today we'll be taking a new tutorial based on mate painting and within After Effects. Um, as you can see, this is our our footage we'll be mate painting over. Um, today you'll be able to see Video Copilot's Element 3D V2 in action with uh, professional mate painting. Uh, our 3D models we'll be using is a clone of Vader TIE Fighter. So, here, we can begin now. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is create a solid. Call it Element 3D. Drag in your plugin and go into scene setup. I really love the viewport. It's incredible, really. I've been working with it now for a few days and the experience is great. So, here you're going to file, import, you import your 3D object. So that's our 3D object there. Just let that import. And you might want to scale it up. So there's your clone of the Vader TIE Fighter. It's awesome. So here we can retexture this. But today what we'll do is just do it within a, the basic settings of Element 3D. So here, do some color work with it. And just have an environment. Oh, there it is. See the cinema. Okay. And make sure your diffuse is at zero. Because you want the glossy look to come out, really. There you go. Oh, glossiness. This is basically a base we're going to do right now for this object. So we'll start texturing. Just gun red. Okay, gun red. It's right there at the bottom. So you can see right around here. They're, um, when you do the materials, they look off, they look really, um, nice on your scene material menu, but when you look at them on the 3D model, it's not too shocking yet, since you haven't, like, fully textured it, and even got into the shadow processing, so, let's start finishing our texture for this model. Black also because that's the engine, so not around here. So we'll just continue doing the same thing on and on and on again until we're finished. But you want to make sure that when you're doing these settings, it's it's all basically your liking you don't try to go and use any kind of textures you know because you can now with v2 it actually allows you to start creating your own you know create your own uh, it make it will not only make you better at uh, at cgi graphics but you know it means so much more when you can create your own um, textures because you have control over what you're putting on your model you know done there it's very simple you know what I mean you don't want to complicate your life with this 
Leave that gray at the top. There we have it. All fully retextured right within Element 3D. And the other um, setting I like is that it allows you to go in full screen. So you can view your model all the way. So there we have retextured our model. For the past days, I've tested retexturing with many models. Like here's this I've tested with. Let's turn that off. I've worked on a train and stuff, something like this. And it's still not done yet, but I love the materials. You know how the materials shine. It's incredible, really. As you can see at the bottom here, we haven't finished that part yet. But Element 3D, it really does encourage, you know, the user to start working more on what he can create. So, here we are. Let's just click OK. And there's our model now right within here and now you're gonna want to go into animation menu and track camera best always to track your camera it's horizontal so just it's best always to track your camera always track your camera always track it especially if you're using element 3d when you're doing mate paintings because you're actually adding a 3d model over a video that already existed and you're not making this video full in 3D. It's footage that you take or you can even record yourself and then um, apply the plugin on top of the footage with a solid layer. Um, doing that, you're, it's always important to make sure that you have a 3D camera tracker because once you have a 3D camera tracker, you can uh, have more control of wherever your object is going, you know. If I hadn't put this, what would happen basically is if I try to move my object anywhere else, it would, you know, it would, uh, how do you say this? It, uh, it wouldn't respond in the results we're looking for. And also, if your footage is not for a fixed angle of view, then you should go through the settings. Maybe this is a variable zoom. No, it isn't. It's just hanging with you. So, just go to advanced. Detect. Let's test this. There you go. Tripod pan. So, you always have to play around with the advanced settings and the shot type. Okay? Because sometimes if you go and you leave it on auto detect, it's never going to really detect, you know, what this uh, camera shot is. So, Always make sure if it tells you analyze, failed, you know, just go under advanced and you can fix that up. So what we'll do is we'll create a camera and now let me show you what I'm talking about. You see that? The model stays right there within our footage. You see that? It stays there. Now let's say I turn off this camera. Now it's not going to move with the footage. You see, I want to turn it on. Look what it does. It sticks to a certain part of the footage. Off, it doesn't do that. It just is on its own. You know. So there we go. Just cut this layer since the analyze failed on that. Okay, now you're going to want to start animating and putting the object in this, this space here that you have. You want to make lights reflect from this on to your object. How to do that is all in working with color grading. If you watch my other tutorial, and I'll link in the description you would see uh, how to work with color grading and that should teach you exactly how you can start 
building your own scenes. You know, like let's say you came into this tutorial and you tried to make paint, but you had no idea about color grading. It would be hard for you to actually make this this uh, this Vader Tie Fighter look like it's actually in in its background. So it's always good to take a good look at the color grading tutorials and learn the basics of After Effects because doing that you have a better understanding of how to fit in objects into another video. So soon we'll get into the animation part. Let's just start fixing the lighting. Okay. This right now it has a physical it doesn't have a physical environment yet. So use comp two. And there you have it. This is really what I love about Element 3D. This is what I love about Element 3D. It's it it really does help you out in so many ways. Look how it's reflecting off its background. It turns blue at this side right here and then the more it keeps traveling the more the colors are changing and there's still some color correcting to do here guys so don't don't uh, cheat on the other tutorials okay so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add some fog enable the fog okay and use this there put the opacity down not too high okay. go under output okay sampling and pick up your F X A A smoothing this here is very important also because it does bring a very realistic look into your object. Let's turn a little bit down. Okay. And put the specular amount. Now let's view that there. It's really, really nice right now. Put up the five. Okay, clear that up. The gamma down a bit and texture gamma okay and just close that and close that let's see here what we can do yeah multi sampling 32 there you go now close that also. Now here your ambient occlusion. Enable that. And as you can see if I come and zoom in here. If I enable it you can see the object is getting darker. Now imagine when I turn up the ambient occlusion. And look. You see that? And we can animate these things. You see guys. You have to learn about detail. Detail is everything when you're working on films. Even the littlest detail is important when you're working on films. If you don't worry about those things, you're not going to have a great end result. Just do it! Make your dreams come true! Just do it!